30 times. Ten times more. Two times more. Letting go and, and stop. this is when I started to not put a cap on the body if the mind is there. Every morning I wake up at 3.30 in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, go to my dive cage, go in there before anybody saw me, I'd get duct tape and I would tape from my forefoot all the way up to the mid of my calf and I would put two black socks on. And so I ran not using the pivot. Oh my gosh. And I ran my hip flexors. So for the first 45 minutes to an hour, I was in absolute excruciating pain. But what motivated me through that whole process was the fact that this kid came from that. I'm in the hardest training in the world, in the worst shape of my entire life. What if I can graduate amongst these studs? Wow. All these guys around me are studs. They're stallions, they're gladiators in my class. They're all healthy, most of them. They're not broken like this. They may have some, you know, everybody's sick going to that yeah, training. Yeah. But if I could graduate, it would change everything for me. If I could start the hardest training in the world, broken, and graduate. So my mind fed off of that. You are now, from the weakest man, you are now the hardest man to ever live. If you can do this, <laughs> if you can do this, Thirty times. Ten times more. Two times more. 
Letting go and stop. Life is one big mind game. Yeah. And you're playing it with yourself. Is it true? I don't care. It got me through the hardest training, starting out broken. Mm. Where most people quit, I had just started. Wow. And when you take that mindset and you learn to flip that around, that's what made me powerful. And my body followed. And three months later, my stress fractures were healed by running on them. <laughs> Calcifying it, just like. <laughs> I never had them since. I'm 43 years old. Wow. I ran 7,000 miles in 2007, haven't had a stress fracture since. And I'm not saying to do that. I'm just saying that when the mind and the body connect, and you didn't, and you don't give yourself a way out. The only way out for me at that time was death. Wow. I'm going to be a Navy SEAL. Or I'm going to die. Or I'm going to die trying. Yeah. Period. And my body said, Roger that. We're going to get you through this. Thirty times. Ten times more. Two times more. Oh. Letting go. So when the stop. line gives it no way out. No way out. Your body says, okay, okay. I believe you now. I have to heal. I'm gonna figure this out with you. We're yes. gonna do this. It's gonna be the, the worst part of your life, but we're gonna, you're gonna survive. We're gonna survive. Wow. And as you hear in that 100 mile race I did, I started figuring out more and more and more and more about at the other end of suffering is a life that no one, and I'm not talking about go out there and kill yourself. Don't take these words and flip them and yeah. say, oh my God, no. <clears throat> it just be uncomfortable. I call it Don't suffering. Don't physically injure yourself. Yes, not saying that. And then be out for six months. That's right. That's no good. That's no good. I'm not saying, I'm not saying do what I did. Yeah. I was in a spot that life forced me. I had a choice. I had a choice to be this guy or the guy that's in front of you. I had choices. I chose this path. And you're still choosing it. And I'm still choosing it. You can go back to that guy no, at any moment. Because I found out. I found out something with those stress fractures. I found out something through facing all these things. I found out a whole nother world, which is why I walk around with all my stuff in a black backpack. Wow. I found out a whole nother way. A whole nother way of no matter how far you get in life,
face in life.